Hello friends, it's another wonderful day in the Lord Jesus, and this video is on dry fasting. My husband Thomas and I just completed a three-day dry fast last evening, and this fast entailed, as its name suggests, no food, no water, no liquids for three days. It was my husband's idea. He said, hey, let's do a three-day dry fast, and I was absolutely ready for it because I love fasting, and I have not done a proper dry fast in a while, at least a year, so... I am so happy we had this opportunity to do this because usually I will fast on my own and this time doing it together was really helpful because both of you have the same goal and you're both looking forward to the same deadline and yeah, it just helps and aids the experience very much, I find. So I just wanted to share a little bit of my experience I am such a fan of dry fasting because so quickly the body reverts to a mode where the body heals itself naturally. And as a believer in Christ, we are a temple for the Holy Spirit and truly we must be desiring to provide the most ideal environment for the Holy Spirit abiding in the rest and peace of the Lord and also maintaining physically the body because so much about growing in the Lord is crucifying the flesh, waiting on Him and sitting in silence and contemplating on the Word of God. All this means that your body must be in good condition so that you can do all that He has for you in ministry, serving others, and also feeling comfortable when you pray and when you're sitting and meditating on the Lord. Because if you have too much weight and you have excess poundage on you, it's very difficult to really rest. And so I am a believer in intermittent fasting, and I absolutely love dry fasting. It's almost like a shock to the system that your body needs once in a while. Because what happens in a dry fast is your body very quickly begins to switch. From digesting foods, it switches to a ketogenic state, which means that it's no longer being fed on external reserves coming in. Rather, it switches to now scouring within the body for internal reserves. It starts scouring for scar tissue, fibroids, cysts, anything that doesn't serve it. And because your water reserves are replenishing, then the cells begin releasing the purest form of water so you're being hydrated from be within although you are ultimately going through a dehydration and this is what causes inflammation to go down and if you have any viruses you're dealing with it deals with and starves those viruses and what's attacking you because it provides an environment that's not ideal for it at all. Sometimes you even see with a fast that people go to deliverance naturally, that unclean spirits begin to leave because according to the scriptures, they look for watery places to abide. The unclean spirit, when he's gone out of the man, passes through waterless places, seeking rest and finding none, he saith, I will turn back into my house whence I came out. And then when you take yourself through this drought, you're dehydrating yourself. It's uncomfortable, not only for yourself, but very much so for unclean spirits that have been hiding and trespassing. So you will see a multitude of benefits and dry fasting is so powerful because every cell begins to turn into an incinerator as opposed to water fasting where toxins are being flushed out through the intake of water 
and pushing it out of your system. But with dry fasting, when you dehydrate the body, the cells turn into this furnace and it starts to burn up the toxins. It's actually a much cleaner, more sophisticated and refined form of purification. This is why one day of dry fasting is said to be equivalent to three days of water fasting. And I can tell you, yes, absolutely, I can see the difference. And this is why I love dry fasting and I am reminded now to do it more often. You know, a few days ago, I turned 48 years old. It was my birthday. And very often when I go out, people tell me, you don't look like your age at all. Well, I think it's because I fast <laughs> and because of the word of God. When you are in the peace of the Lord and you're resting in the Lord, you will start to see it in your physical countenance as well. So resting in the Lord, being free of fear, being free of worry, and simply using your days to bear fruit for Him will renew your youth like the eagles. So yes, I celebrated my birthday a few days ago and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to turn 50 years old. <laughs> yes, I don't understand why people hide their ages. I've never understood that. I just think it's so silly because shouldn't you be proud of revealing your age? And it's an impetus to keep moving forward and keep doing more and accomplishing more. Amen. The state that I was talking about earlier when the body begins to look for internal reserves internal nutrition and therefore it's actually scouring itself for the weakest sickest cells hence you get that very deep purification it is known as the state of autophagy and in some of the writings from Dr. Sergei Filanov, he describes it as the acidotic crisis that occurs. It occurs within two to three days of a dry fast when there's this switch that goes on. And you want that to happen because you want the body to start to eat up everything that does not serve you, excess fibrin. It is just cleaning you up and you find you have renewed vitality, flexibility. Do you know that in three days of dry fasting, you are now naturally releasing stem cells in the body? So there's increased white blood cells to fight viruses, to fight any attacks. You get this incredible treatment that the Lord has devised. If you go to a holistic center that provides stem cell therapy, for example, if you go to Switzerland, it's going to cost you around $50,000 to get stem cell therapy. And here you can get it for free by simply afflicting the flesh just for a while. And you just see such wondrous benefits. I intend to do this regularly because I am so reminded of the tremendous benefits. During the fast, you might feel aches and pains. Good, that's fantastic. You might feel heat. Yes, every cell is turning into a furnace. But allow that to pass. And then when you come out of the fast, that's the best part. When you hydrate and you go to bed that night, oh, it's the most wonderful sleep. And... I literally was feeling like I was on cloud nine last night. I almost couldn't sleep at first. So I had to pray before I finally slept. I could keep talking about dry fasting because I am such a fan of it. I pray that this helped you in some way. And I encourage you to begin with a short fast of 24 hours or even less if you want. but. 24 hours, anyone can do this. Three days is a biblical fast, as we see in the book of Esther. So it is easier than you realize. I pray that you have a wonderful day. And if you are undertaking a fast, I pray that the Lord 
blesses you with his grace, with his favor, that you have great ease through the process and bear abundant fruit. In the name of Yeshua, I pray. Amen.